Today I'm going for a lesson with a difference with former DP World Tour player Chris Hansen. I want Chris to help me practice with a purpose. I need to learn how to structure my practice to get the most improvement out of my game for my Half My Handicap Challenge. Hi, I'm Paul and this is the Golf Show Half My Handicap. So today I'm down at Woodlands Driving Range with Chris Hansen, one of my coaches. We're going to have a look at some of my stats that have come out of Draw More Circles. Chris, how's it going, mate? All good, mate. A bit cold, but yeah, doing well. It is quite fresh, and it's very early in the morning <laughs> making this content. So the Half My Handicap Challenge is underway. We're off and running. How's it going? Went up point three at the weekend. Oh, I didn't realise it was a qualifier, and I had a really good score dropping off one of my best eight out of my 20. Right, so okay. we've started in the worst possible <laughs> way. We've got some great stats to look through, and from yep. this we're going to come up with a plan with you and Guy and work out what I need to be working on to half my handicap. Yeah, well, I would say we, we've had a few chats with Craig at Draw More Circles, uh, and he's put together a, a fantastic document here from, uh, not, not a massive sample of rounds, I think we've got five rounds in there now, and again, over some, some, pretty, some pretty terrible yeah, weather at times as well. Um, so yeah, this is going to obviously build, isn't it? But it gives, us a, it gives us a nice starting point, so there's some strengths. Yep. Yeah, yeah so that's a surprise, wasn't it? Put in from over 21 feet, so we're just going to hit it to 21 feet. <laughs> I, um, yeah, I must just get a lot of practice at that range. <laughs> but yeah, so it's always nice to see some, yeah. some good stuff as well. well. We're going to put together some, some games, what you can do in practice. Um, Guy's going to give you some obviously some swing points, some technical work to, to go through as well. So it's, it's a combination of a, a big team effort. Um, John as well is going to give you some strength yeah. and conditioning work yeah. and some flexibility work. Um, so yeah, there's, there's there's a lot of pieces to the puzzle, and hopefully we can we can get this down to sort of zero. And we've got short game twenty one to sixty is an area that they've identified as well. Yeah, it is a really tough area um, for everyone. I, I have this conversation a lot with people now. It's not like hitting a seven iron full, is it? You, yep. Seven iron, you swing to the top and you yep. hit it hard. This, you've got to control length of swing, yep. speed of swing, and strike it. And there's a lot of variables. Yep. So, so yeah, a key area. Um, we obviously know your, your time is time's precious as well, so we, we touched on a few ideas um, around a pitching process, having a favourite yardage we could work around. Yeah, okay, well, let's, uh, let's get warmed up. Let's, let's, get, going, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> let's get you some balls. <laughs> okay, cool. So 2160 yards is the area we're looking at. Yep, so yeah, that's identified an area what needs needs to be, to be looked at. So I think... Um, one of my initial thoughts was we need to get you um, a pitching plan yep. so we know what positions hit the hit the ball at a certain distance. But I think for, the, for, for saving time and, yep. and being a bit more effective, I just want you to have a favourite number. So okay. a favourite position with each swing. Okay, cool. Let's do it. I just want you to just hit a few pitches to warm up first. Yep. And then I want you to try and think about what would be a, a, prefer, a, a preferable position. So would it be left arm parallel to the floor? Would it be a three-quarter swing? So for me, I just have... What is a half, a three quarter, and a full? So, yep. so it's my half might not look half to anybody else, yep. but it feels That's, half. Yeah, and I just kind of feel it's left arm parallel. Yep. Yep. with a bit of wrist set. So okay. it's up to you. So just hit a few to warm up. And it's, and it's also important to you've got to think about the speed of your swing as well. Yep. So okay, are you? Is it a smooth shot or is it a real committed firm shot? Okay, yeah, because okay. it's going to have to be consistent. Gonna have this as a set, a set yeah. shot. So the the idea behind it is, yeah. you hit it in the trees on a par yeah. five. You, yeah. chip, you chip out to your favourite yardage. You've obviously got to right. work it out. If you're within five or five or ten yards of it, really, yeah. it's going to give you super confidence. You'll get down yeah. there. Yeah. Oh, perfect. I'm, I'm nearly on my favourite yardage. You know, if you make a half decent swing at it, it's going to be somewhere near, isn't it? Yeah. And again, par fives. If you're laying up. Yeah. Don't lay up 30 yards because yep. it's not it's not a strong area. Lay up to your favourite yardage. Yep. There's also a time and a place to, to play to your strengths. So let, let's make this a, a strength of your game. Let's focus in now. So yep. you, you've warmed up a little bit there. Yep. I've, I've secretly kept an eye on the numbers. Okay. Quite good. Yeah. You don't need to know yet how okay, far yeah, we're yeah. going. So, so I don't want you to react to that number. Yeah. So I'll block this. Yeah. I want you to take five shots yep. and we'll write them down as we go along and we'll, and we'll see what the... So tell me what, what, what the feeling of your half swing is at the moment. Just under parallel, just under nine o'clock with the with the left arm, with a bit of wrist hinge. Yep. So, so just under parallel. Just under parallel. So. Yep. So yep. Eight o'clock wrist hinge. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, lovely. Well, this is an easy thing to practice because you can do this in half an hour. You're not having to go and fetch balls from miles away, and you're not yeah, losing no. balls. So perfect. No, I'll give you a game to. to oh, mega. To 
to practice as well. Don't take long to set up. Like yep. you say, half half an hour, you can have a real good, yep. real good focus session. On average, I think we could probably take out that fifty. Yeah. And I'd work off those four. It's about 50, a rough guy. About 56, it, it's only yeah. a guy. Yeah. So you've yeah. got to go away. You've got to, you've got to, yeah. you've got to put a cone down at fifty six, yeah. and you've got to see how good you are at that yeah. game. Then on the golf course, throw a ball down the course yeah. fifty six, and see how good you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's go. Let's go sandwich, which yeah. is fifty six. So more, more like that. Yeah, that's different. Yeah, different. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it's better. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be different. I haven't changed, has it? <laughs> And that ball position is okay. Not a bit of a strange way. Yeah. Different that ball position is okay there. Yeah, it's more. Yeah, a little bit more. Just forward to centre. Nice. Yeah, that was nice, wasn't it? Yeah. Lovely. That was nice. Should we do a quick test? Yes, go for it. Yeah. Right, okay, so what we'll do, I'll let, we'll do, let's do one, one, one set, so you choose which club you want to use. Let's go with the, uh, let's go with the 60 again, so that's the one I would use the least. Right, okay, we'll go 60, yeah. and I'm going to give you, we'll just keep a little tally chart yeah. of how many shots it takes you to hit it 33 yards. Okay? okay? What do you reckon? I'm not going to give you any leeway, okay. and we'll just see how long it takes you to hit 30, okay. number 33. Okay. How long we got? <laughs> pace, maybe a little route it, little, little, because I think on the golf course, maybe that's what you need to do. And when we do these games, you certainly need to do that. Yeah, it's routine now, isn't it? So it'll eventually become quite, yeah. quite subconscious where you'll do it quite naturally. 33. I'm going, I'm going 42. Yeah. Oh, 38. I'm going to get and this, and this kind of goes in line with what uh, Craig with circles yeah. do on theirs. Yeah. They have little small yeah. challenges. So if you did this in one shot, yeah. completed, yeah. you're buzzing, you're really happy, you go on to the next challenge. Right. Nice, that could be the one. Oh, 35. Close. I'm sure, Nick. 28, yeah. Tell you what, one thing we could do to make it harder. We get you to hit a driver in between each shot. Okay. That'd be difficult. Yeah. yeah. yeah because you lose that feel. Cause you're just reacting here yeah, to. Yeah. 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 Okay, so yeah. this is this is a pretty simple way to do it. That's got a chance. Thirty-two. It's got a chance as well. It's weird. You kind of know off the face. There you go. Just. Hey. <laughs> just. Well done. Okay. So we're going to look at driver. So. Draw more circles have worked out. I'm losing 4.48 shots around on the scratch player. A bit of that's distance, but I'm not worried about that because it's been winter and I've got this new driver which does go further. But in five rounds, I had 11 recovery shots and four lost balls off the tee. Yeah. So I've just got to really get that dispersion narrowed in. Yeah, I think the big question from, from me is obviously, again, we're, we're always con conscious of uh, the time you've got to yeah. practice, but when you do practice, are you just hitting balls aimlessly? Probably, yeah. Probably, yeah. Most people yeah, are. Yeah. I have this conversation every yeah. day with people. So I think with the time you've got, I think it's important that you do do your technical stuff, yeah. what you're doing with the guy, but then also we put some performance games in there, which just puts you under the cosh a little yeah. bit, gets you sweating a little bit, because we know how difficult Fulford is and how tight it is. We've got to kind of si simulate or replicate yeah. a similar sort of setting here okay. and get you a little bit worried about hitting shots yeah. uh, in practice. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. Cool. So you, you're pretty warmed up, aren't you? Yeah. Uh, so let's dive straight into it. So for me, two games we'll try and do today, and the first one is simple killer. You yeah. play killer at pool. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So I'm going to give you three lives. Yeah. We've got a 40 yard target. Yeah. So we're going to make we're going to visualise a 40 yard target. You can do this. Anyone can do this. It's pretty simple. Let's go with the. Can you see the fence above the yeah. range? Yeah. Left corner to the right edge. Yeah. 40 yard target, how many, you've got to keep hitting a shot in that, miss the target, lose a life, okay. three lives, how long can you go for, okay? So pretty simple, but nice little bit of pressure, we'll keep a tally chart here of your, of your shots. Nice start, really good. This game can be tailored to whatever handicap you are, whatever yeah. ability you are, we can make this a really small target, yeah. make it a super wide target, okay? Yeah. Oh, 
Okay. Yeah. yeah, so maybe 15, 15 yards outside of target, so, so one life gone. Exactly, this could be a four shot challenge. You won't be the first person. It's a lot, you get a lot of people, they get into a nice rhythm, hitting driver in a lesson, they make some changes, it feels really comfortable, they put them in a test and they fail straight away. Um, it's got a chance. From my angle, it's all right from my angle. <laughs> miss on the left. No, that was a miss. Miss, Q. did you hear the ball? <laughs> it landed 120 way. yards. What sort of crack in it? Oh, oh, you hit it that hard, maybe. Uh, the ball. <laughs> Go on, retake. <laughs> oh, you just drilled me with the tea peg as well. <laughs> just drilled me with the tea peg as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right, I think you need to stop that one. That's right? it. You're out of lives anyway. So I think people get the impression of yeah. how the game is. Yeah, like it, it gets you thinking about it. It gets you zoned I, I, in I on. It's absolutely so much more focused down there. Yeah. And that, I think that was a nice, what's the width of that, about 60 yards? Yeah, so it's yeah. Easy, easy visual, yeah. easy to do. Do it at the end of a practice session. It's, it's constructive, isn't it? It's good. Yeah, cool. Okay. cool. So I like that one. Right, so next one. Yep. Should we try again? Perfect. Right, okay. So... Simple one, again yeah. obviously we're, we're always cautious of time. Yeah. I would typically normally do this as a 10 ball test. Yeah. We'll do this as a 5 ball yeah. test. So you're going to just have a, have a, have a single target. Yeah. So we'll, we'll, we'll go the pile on the distance. Yeah. And we're just going to go five focus shots, yeah. routine. Yeah. And we're just going to eyeball it. How much does it miss the target by? 20 yards, 10 yards, zero, 40 yards. And you can have a total for five shots. Okay. Yeah, lovely shot. No, that's a nice shot of that ball. 20, 25 yards left, but nice flight, no real curve on it. Hit me with the tee peg again. You know what, I almost could swear then, was I? Let's have a look. I could feel it was a bit open. Okay, so 30 right. And like you said, you're going to get a t total here out of five shots. Hopefully, we keep it under 100 yards. We're at 50. 55 currently, so three shots to go. But it gives you a it gives you a target to beat yeah. next time, doesn't it? Okay, and but what I really like about these games, yeah. whether you shoot a uh, score a good score or yeah. not, I, I'm not mass I'm not bothered. It's yeah. just the fact that you're trying to do yeah. it. Yeah, it's the yeah, whole intention yeah, that, of yeah. yeah. There, so unfortunately that one was I'm gonna go 45 yards left. So we've got a little bit of left and right going at the moment, but it's, uh, it's early days of this new driver. Okay, solid. There we go. That's the PCH we know. Okay, 10 left. Okay, so when you see these numbers, yeah. 10 left's a really good tee shot. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. That's why the 40 yard target is, yeah. is a pretty good practice yeah, right. target, I would say. So, so what did you score there? You score. Chris, thanks for that, that was great, really enjoyed it. It's just great to get you competing, you know, I see a lot of people just practicing and just ball bashing for, for no apparent reason, so great to get so a bit focus, of structure. Focus practice and a bit of structure is the way forward. Yeah, structure, time management, make Brilliant. it effective. Great, I'll get that on my KPIs to draw more circles. Absolutely, yeah. Chris, that was really good, really appreciate your time as always, mate, thank you so much. Pleasure to see you, mate. Good to awesome. see you, buddy. Okay, guys, if you like that, give us a like, if you really liked it, give us a subscribe, and we'll see you next time on The Golf Show. I hope you enjoyed the episode of The Golf Show. To watch another, click here. To subscribe, click here.